Tackle Junkies, what's going on, fellas? Really appreciate you guys clicking on the video. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel yet, definitely consider subscribing. Don't forget to ring that bell that way you guys are notified every time I release a new video. In today's video, we're going to build the ultimate tackle box for the pond hopper to store his buzz baits and spinner baits. And you may want to stick around to the end of the video. I mean, you just you just never know when a giveaway may pop up. You just, you just never know. Appreciate you guys. All right, fellas, in the last video, we built the ultimate terminal tackle box for the pond hopper. You know, for the guy that's walking around the ponds, walking from pond to pond, carrying all that tackle on his back, right? Now, my boat box, as you guys know, they are jammed full. They are loaded down with tackle. Anything you could think of, I have in that boat, right? The whole point of this series, for me, was to be organized, pack light, but pack exactly what I needed when I'm not on my boat. And you guys know when I'm not on my boat, I mainly fish in the same three farm ponds that I always fish. They're family owned, all on the same property, or I'm fishing with phantom fishing or wada fishing from time to time as well. So again, I'm not really off my boat that much, but when I am, I still want to have everything that I need with me. And again, with fishing those ponds for so long, I know exactly really what works there and really how I like to catch them. And that's really what this box you know, revolves around. I don't have a ton of stuff in it, but I have exactly what I need to catch bass over there at those ponds. And of course, when I'm with Phantom or Wadded, we're usually just throwing square bills all day. So that's pretty simple there. But for the ponds, again, I have a nice assortment here of terminal tackle that I know I'll need when I go over there to fish. Now, my box is going to look different than yours, I'm sure, but hopefully from this video, it gave you guys some good ideas on how you could pack your pond terminal box as well. If you guys haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. I will link it down below. And again, this is the Plano 36 series, 3600 series edge terminal box. I'll link that down below as well. All right, other than terminal tackle, I mean, I do feel that's really the most challenging to pack. Okay, especially when you don't have a lot of room, you're trying to think of everything you may need. I do feel terminal tackle is a big challenge, okay? I do believe we nailed it though with this box. From there, I do believe the next thing that's a challenge for the bank angler is packing spinner baits and buzz baits. Now the box that we're using today is the Plano 3600 series, it's the Edge Flex box. Okay, you can see the internals look much different than your standard box. That's really what's great about this particular box. And guys, it's the same box you guys are going to win, um, or one of you guys are going to win at the end of this video, so definitely stick around for that. But here's one right here, brand new box. Okay, same great features as all the Edge box. Again, one handed latch opening there. It's got the easy label system, restrictor built within the box, the dry lock seal, water wick system, clear lid, so you can see exactly what you have in the box, all right? But the beauty about this box, you can see here, Okay, here's the dividers. You have a nice assortment, different lengths and all that dividers, but it's basically an empty, empty box. Okay, a blank canvas. You can build this box to your liking. Okay. Now I know a lot of guys don't even fish spinner baits. So let's say you do buy this box and you build it the way I built mine for spinner baits and buzz baits. But again, you don't fish them all that much and you want to change it up. Well, you have the ability to do that, you know, with this box. And you have the dividers here. You build it the way you want it to be built, okay, for your liking. And again, I built mine here for my liking, exactly what I needed from this box. And it was spinner bait and buzz bait storage, okay? And I'm sure you're saying, well, there's a bunch of those type of boxes on the market. And that is true. Okay, here's what I used for the longest time at the ponds. This one right here, okay? The little box there from Plano. But the problem with this box, and all, it all depends really on your tackle bag, you know, most tackle bags are built to accept, you know, 3,600 series boxes or 3,700 series boxes. And then sometimes you have a little section up top for your soft plastics. Of course, you can put this up top with your plastics, but then that takes more room away from your soft plastic storage, right? Now this one here, obviously, if this one ain't gonna fit, this one here is not going to fit either. This is the Edge series. This is the spinner rate box as well. And I mainly use this one for buzz baits, which you guys can see there. Mainly a buzzbait box for me, if I can get one out here. Mainly a buzzbait box for me. 
We have some spinner baits in here. But again, I do like this box here for buzz baits. It is a spinner bait box, but again, it's a bit big to be carrying around in your tackle backpack. I'm sure you guys have seen this box as well. This is an old school uh, Bill Dance Plano tackle box. I do have a video on this box. I will link it down below. Uh, you can't get it anymore. It's discontinued. But again, it's loaded down with spinner baits. I even got some charity baits in there as well. But this was my go-to spinner bait box for the longest time. I mean, it still is. I, I stored this box in my boat. But the point I'm trying to make here is these boxes are not very, you know, bank angular friendly. Okay, and that's really where I believe the Edge series comes into play because you can make this box work for you. And you can see here, that's exactly what we did here. We have our buzz baits, we have our spinner baits, and I can slide that right in there in my 3600 series tackle bag. It fits in there right next to my terminal box. Of course, we're going to build a jig box, hard bait box as well. And they're all stacked in there. And you can see how a box like this is not going to fit in there really well. All right, fellas, here is the finished product. Now, pretty basic for the most part. I only have a couple dividers in this box, but that really is the beauty of the Flex boxes. You can build as many compartments as you need. And with storing spinner baits and buzz baits, obviously I didn't need that many dividers. Okay, and you can see, like I said earlier, a bunch of different size dividers here, depending on your needs, more than enough to build any type of tackle box you know, that you're going to need as far as compartments go. So this box here I try to keep pretty simple. Now this box I store in my boat. It is loaded with buzz baits. A bunch of different buzz baits in that box. A bunch of different brands but for the most part the colors are pretty basic. You know white with a nickel blade, black on black, chartreuse with a gold blade. Those three colors will get bit day in day out. Now in this box here we do have a couple spare skirts in here. White and black. Our first two buzz baits, all right. These are the Wheeler Accent buzz baits, black on black. That's a tough one to beat there. And then we do have a white with a nickel blade. When they're on shad, it is tough to beat a white with a nickel or a chrome blade. And I do love to toss a plastic on the back of my buzz baits. I will link some videos down below on why I like to do that and some modifications that you can make to your buzz baits. Definitely check those out. But again, black on black, white with a nickel. Two great combos right there. My third favorite would be the chartreuse in gold when I need to be a bit louder with my color in that dirtier water. Okay, you know, I love throwing a gold blade on my spinnerbait as well. I just feel in that muddier water, that hue that the gold throws off, they can just see it a bit better versus the chrome. So my third choice would be a chartreuse with that gold blade. Of course, we have another white nickel in here and then a black on black again these are the war eagles okay put those away here and these will change out from time to time throughout the year when i want to you know toss different buzz baits or try different brands or whatever the case may be but for the most part you guys can see just how many you can store in here and there's room for more we do have five in there right now i will move over here to our spinner baits again pretty simple with the colors you're looking for you know a shad type pattern you know, a white, chartreuse and white, something for that dirtier water, like a fire tiger. Uh, bluegill type colors. Here we have some of the mega bass. These are the SV3. Nice looking shad pattern there. Okay. For your dirtier water, fire tiger, gold willows. And we got chartreuse and white. Okay. This one here, I don't remember the name of it, just a real natural shad type color again double willow and you guys always hear me talk about fishing that muddier water but i usually run you know double willows and a lot of guys will say to run a colorado blade in that dirtier water but for whatever reason i just do better with a double willow you know that blade really mimics you know the profile of a shad the vibration they give off i just do really well with a double willow versus the colorado but use whatever works for you you can see here we have four on this side here with plenty of room to add a few more in there. Then over here we have the, that's another Accent Wheeler spinnerbait there, like a pearl or a white. We have a War Eagle, again a shad pattern there with a bit of chartreuse on it. We have the Booyah Viroflex, one of my favorites right there. Gold, 
double gold willow leaves, another booyah there, gold, double gold willow, and then here's a Picasso and a citrus, again, double willow as well. So you guys can see, that's what we have here, five, that's nine spinner baits in there, five buzz baits with plenty of room for more. Okay. There you go. Close her up. That there is the ultimate pond hoppers tackle box to store your buzz baits and your spinner baits. Well, fellas, I feel we're two for two. We built the ultimate terminal tackle box. And guys, don't forget, you guys can get 20% off over there at Mustad by using code TJ81. Again, that'll be linked down below. TJ81 gets you guys 20% off over there at Mustad. And then we just built the ultimate spinnerbait and buzzbait storage box for the bank angler. Next up, guys, we have hard baits, which will be like crankbaits and topwaters, things like that. Then we'll move on to a jig box, which will be jigs, jig heads, scrounger heads, net heads, things like that. We'll pack some plastics. Then we would have built the ultimate, you know, tackle bag for the bank angler. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series so far and you're looking forward to the next video. If you guys are still here with me, I truly appreciate you guys watching the entire video. Don't be one of those guys. Just fast forward to the end of the video to enter the giveaway. Please watch the entire video. It's greatly appreciated. And for those of you that are still with me, still watching right now, you guys will be entered uh, for the Plano Edge Flex Box, 3600 series Plano Edge Flex Box. And guys, we'll keep it pretty simple with the rules. Of course, be a subscriber. Be a subscriber. Make sure you guys ring that bell that way you're notified every time I release, release a new video. Smash the thumbs up. Um, you should be doing that in every video, man. Smash the thumbs up. That really helps push the videos. If you guys are not liking all the videos, I would greatly appreciate a thumbs up on all the videos. Go back and watch them all if you haven't already and hit the thumbs up. Really do appreciate that. But again, if you're still with me, drop a comment down below. Uh, hashtag something. Is hashtag Plano Edge Flex or TJ81, get TJ81 to Table Rock or whatever it may be. Just hashtag something. Leave an emoji with your fifth bump or whatever. I know some of you guys didn't know how to do that. So just hashtag something or just tell me you're still here. Tell me you're new to the channel. You know, leave me just a, a comment down below. Let me know you're new, how long you've been with me. Like I said, hashtag something, um, whatever. You guys know the drill. Just make sure you are a subscriber, you ring the bell, you like the video, and you leave a comment down below with what I asked. And you guys are entered to win a Plano Edge Flexbox 3600 series. You guys are awesome. Again, I truly appreciate you guys hanging with me. It's winter time, which usually the channel start to fall off. We're still growing. You guys are awesome. I'm very, very excited to see where this channel um, could be, you know, this time next year. I do believe 21 is going to be our year, and I wouldn't be here without you guys. I thank you guys. I love you guys, and we'll see you guys on the next one.